guys, today is gonna be quite a big haul, but it's gonna be a speedy haul because I don't have a lot of time to film this video. I have been putting things to the side to talk about that I've bought over the past probably two months or so, including some stuff that I got in Vegas, which was not a lot of stuff actually, I was pretty good. Um, and I'm gonna kick off with that actually, because it's on the top of this tin. Let's show you both things that I got. So the first one, oh, two, three things, three things, not as good as I was saying. Um, was this Becca Glow On The Go. Now I am obsessed with Sephora minis. If you are in Sephora, if you find yourself in Sephora and you are so overwhelmed because there's so much stuff, you think, um, I wonder if anything's cheaper here. I don't worry so much about that because the difference in price is minimal now um, with a lot of stuff. I worry more about the stuff that we can't get here or about the minis. Now, this is always where I would direct someone to. Near the till, there will be tons of these. And um, if I find myself to be really overwhelmed or I just don't have a lot of time, that's where I go straight away. If I wanna try something new and it's expensive, I'll try and find a mini of it first because that is an amazing way of trying something that potentially you may not use the whole thing of anyway. They have amazing, amazing is my new favorite word apparently. They have great, let's just, branch out into different adjectives, shall we? They have a great selection of the smaller travel size stuff. I really um, have enjoyed using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I think it's in Diffused. Uh, that's a really great way of trying something that's really quite expensive. And I've used it and used it and I'm not even anywhere near hitting pan. So just a little tip, if you are kind of, oh my God, where do I start? That is where to start. That's where I got this. And um, I already have one of the Becca highlighting powders and the one I've got, where is the actual, oh there it is. The one I've got, I think is Champagne Pop, which was very popular last year. But it's quite peachy and warm for me. It might be a little bit too warm. Um, and I heard a lot about Opal. So I saw that this was Opal, little cute little size. Plus, you know, something like this, I'm probably not gonna use a full pan of anyway. Um, and it also came with the liquid version, which I'm yet to use, but I'm not massive on liquid highlighters and I don't wanna buy a full size, but people, again, really, really rave about these. So I was excited to get both of them. I think it was $20. 20, it was $20, not bad. Um, and I will just swatch this for you because I have worn this so much recently, not just as a highlighter, but as an eyeshadow. And whenever I've worn this as an eyeshadow, I've worn it um, like with just black liquid liner. It's not even gonna show up, is it? So many people have asked me about it. It barely looks like anything, but when you wear it on my eyes, it's just amazing. So that's one of the things that I got. One of the things I specifically was going in there to look for was um, the NARS Power Matte. I'm not gonna be able to open this packaging now. Uh, I put things back in the packaging so that I would remember that they were new and to talk about them. So I have worn this once already. I wasn't massively impressed. I may do a review. If you would like a day test on this, I think I'm gonna do away with the wear and compare for a little while because sometimes it's a little bit much and it takes a long time to get it together. Whereas something like this, I kind of, if you wanna see the review, I could film it in one day and get it out straight away. So I may do that for you if you are interested. The color that I've got is under my thumb and it is, a gorgeous deep kind of berry colour. Let me just again swatch that for you. Um, uh, first impressions were it was a really nice formula in that it lasted quite well. I liked the colour but I didn't find it to be massively opaque. I, quite, I felt like I needed quite a lot of it. It was really, really thin um, which is probably why it lasted so well but also this applicator. I'm not into it. I don't get it. It's a very, very firm applicator. It's difficult to work with i don't really understand it so i'm interested to see some more reviews about that but if you would like a full day test let me know the other thing that i picked up was this because it's got a lot of airtime from my us beauty bloggers and, and youtubers that i watch and read and it's the milk makeup cooling water stick and i have been wearing this whoo what's the top bit i have been wearing this underneath my makeup when i can remember to use it so just to swipe underneath my eyes just to kind of wake them up a little bit. I've been quite into using an eye drop. It's not really an eye drop. It's the, you know the spray ones that you use on top of your eyes instead of inside your eyes. When I wake up in the morning my eyes are really really tired. I've been spritzing my eyes and it's a really nice accompaniment to that. So if you feel like ugh, it's a really nice product but apparently there are other ones available that do similar things that are less and more readily available in the UK. I know that I tried one from Ambre Elise. I can't remember what it was called, but I really liked it. The problem with that was the formula was so soft, it kind of melted away. Um, but I really, really liked that one. I talked a lot about it earlier this year. But I, I'm the jury's out on that one for me. We'll see. Um, okay, I got two of the new. I've got a whole this is a massive bunch of different stuff. So it's not like one particular shop I went to. I got two of the new Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. 
And I got these because, oh, it's gonna be such a pain to open this. I got this because I thought they might be comparable to the NARS. This is such a pain, it's all been sellotape together. Um, because of the name, it made me think maybe it was gonna be a similar kind of applicator, similar formula. When I open it, I'll tell you. I seriously took about half the time I had spare to film this video trying to open these, this is insane. Okay, so the colors that I got, um, this one's called Dreamer. And it's like a mauvey kind of pink. That's actually really pink for me. That's probably way too light. And then the other one is called Lover. And this is very nice. This is like perfect for this time of year. I've been kind of trying to collect softer plum colours for autumn winter. They have that vanilla scent that I like. It's kind of like an air freshener scent, but I like it. Um, and the applicator, by the way, is totally different. So a way nicer kind of doe foot applicator. Um, and we'll see how they dry down as we film this, but mm, completely different, nothing like that. So maybe we'll do a little comparison. Um, okay, next I bought two things that I felt like would go together. This is the NYX lip liner in, dun 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 dun, <laughs> rosy sunset, here we go. So I've got lots of kind of bright corally lip products and I didn't feel like I had a lip liner that would go with it. And so that's the one I picked up, it kind of goes with my eyes today. Um, and I got the NYX Liquid Suede in Life's a Beach, which I felt like they were really similar colors. I'm just really all about it. I know it's not summer anymore, but I love these colors so much. I think they're so much more wearable than kind of like hot pinks, for me anyway, for my coloring. And I think, oh, I can just give you a massive thumbs up. Um, I think because I've been darker, I am, Moving away from the pinks a little bit. I think it, it worked better when I was blonde. I'm trying to find alternatives because I love a bright lip. Um, so as well with the kind of this, this deep, deep, dark lip, I'm kind of not wearing so much. And I'm trying to find things that are a little bit softer and easier to wear. It's probably the same with the corals. A little bit easier than red, a little bit easier than hot pink. Uh, but I really like this texture and I really love the NYX lip liners. They are, it's a specific one because they have loads, don't they? This is the Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and Definitely Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. They are my favorite ones. They remind me a lot of the Urban Decay 24-7 liners. Um, I actually got, uh, again, a liner and a lipstick from Urban Decay. This was my looking for a transitional, something between a nude and a plum phase. I wish I hadn't done such a massive swatch of that highlight that you can't see now, because it's all there, but you can't see it. Uh, so this is, is it Maniac or Manic? Manic, which is just like a real deep, warm brown. And then I've got Hitchhike, which is a comfort matte. And more like a kind of brick color. Again, looking for autumnal variations on things that I have been wearing a lot. Uh, I got a few liquid lipsticks that look of similar colors. Um, one of them, this is less so, one of them is the PSXXL Plump, and this is from Primark. Um, I haven't even swatched this one yet. This was £2.50 apparently, according to this label. And again, oh, I thought, oh, it has got a, it's like a, a kind of slight sweetie mint scent. I thought that was the vanilla. I swear those Maybelline ones smell so strong. When I swatched this, I could still smell those. That is that one. And the color, I think someone's coming to my door right now. It's my mom. Uh, the color is whatever. Whether or not that actually plumps or not, I don't know. We will see. Again, I could do like one massive liquid lip video if you would like. Um, but that's a gloss, which is unusual for me. If you watched my, um, declutter video you will know I don't have very many and that is a very very similar color to the ones that I did keep then I've got the stay matte liquid lip in pink bliss and this is from Rimmel I haven't tried a Rimmel lip product in a really long time that's almost an identical color actually there we go oh it's not really is it and that's that and again that very very sickly caramelly kind of sweet sweet scent uh, and again I haven't tried this one yet this is like Whole haul, it's not first impressions, really don't know. And I got the Rouge Edition Velvet Don't Pink of It because I've always worn the nudist shade and I felt like there were better ones out there. There's tons 
I feel like we've gone for a trend here. Real kind of beigey nudes, haven't we? And then a couple of corals. Um, but a lot of liquid lips I've, I've picked up in the last couple of months. Now I have mentioned these in different videos, uh, but I did get a couple of things from NYX. First of all, I got the NYX Proof Fit Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, which I have been absolutely obsessed with. This, this is already a rave review. I've talked about this um, because it is the only thing that has really, really helped to keep my liquid eyeliner staying put. And for someone who has got hooded eyes, quite oily skin, it's been a real nightmare recently as my eyes have become more hooded over time, you know, age. Uh, it's been just a real pain to not be able to wear my liquid eyeliner on my wings. And um, this has definitely been able to, this has allowed me to be able to wear them again. I also picked up the NYX Collection Noir Liquid Black Liner, which on its own is the best. So it, although it doesn't last maybe all day, it has the best chance of lasting all day if I don't wear that primer underneath it. Whereas the NYX Proof It makes it so that I can wear pretty much any eyeliner on top and it will last. This one is the best one on its own. Uh, and this is the NYX Eye and Eyebrow Pencil in taupe. I got this because I've been quite enjoying, it's that colour right there. I've been quite enjoying just a little bit of shadow underneath my eyes without anything really heavy because I don't like I don't really like eyeliner underneath I like the big eyeliner on top I like kind of a little bit of smoky something but if I'm doing the big eyeliner on top I do like just a little bit of shadow and a taupey kind of light brown is perfect for that uh, last couple of things I did get Fenty Beauty foundation now if you didn't see that I did do a day test within a vlog I don't even think I mentioned it in the thumbnail of the vlog so you may have been looking out for that and missed it I also have a review which I'll try and link below if I remember um, but I've lent that to my friend for her to test out so the only thing I've got to show you is this highlight and this is the kilowatt highlight in lightning dust and fire crystal and it is amazing this is the standout product for me. I swatched a lot of things. I've obviously tried the foundation. I would say if you really, really are desperate to try something from it, I love this stuff so much. It has, I mean, this one, this side is lightning dust. This is a really nice, beautiful sheen, the kind of highlight that I'm always after. But then Fire Crystal just allows you to kind of like kick it up a notch on the high areas of your cheeks where you're not so worried about it falling into fine lines or pores. I love it. I love it so much. So I'm really, really happy that I picked that up. It is expensive. So, you know, there are other things out there. But I mean, for example, something I've got in front of me that I love is the Freedom Highlight in Ambient. That is one of my all time favorite highlights, regardless of cost. Um, a really gorgeous sheen. Shall I just swatch it for you? I'm not going to swatch the Fenty Beauty one because I know I have swatches for you to see. But I love that so much. You're not going to see it, are you? No. It's not the lighting for that kind of swatch, apparently. And the last thing that I got was the uh, Maybelline Eye Studio Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner, which looks like this. And it comes with a brush, which is completely pointless because on one end it's way too thick for eyeliner and on the other end it's like a sponge, which I suppose is supposed to be like you could smoke it out. Not into it. The finest of brushes, please. Um, I've been liking using this. It's a little bit easier to work with than liquid if you do... If you do find that liquid eyeliner or pencil eyeliner kind of drags along your eye, which I definitely find, um, it's easier to get a smooth line with gel in my experience, um, but it doesn't last that long. And so again, may I just bring you back to this, which if you do struggle with eyeliner staying on, this is an absolute must. This is the best primer I've ever used. That being said, it's not that easy to blend eyeshadow on top of it. I would say that's the best primer I've ever used if I'm just doing liquid eyeliner. However, it's not, it kind of like really, really adheres to it. And so once you put something on, it's really difficult to blend it out. Just a word of warning. So I think that's everything that I've got makeup wise. I just have one last thing that I want to talk about because it arrived today and I'm so excited about it. And it is this bag from Skinny Dip. Now, complete full disclosure, I haven't bought kind of a fashion bag um, or a high street bag in a really long time. I think once you've got proper leather bags, it's really difficult to then buy something that's not because you maybe won't reach for it and it feels like a kind of pointless endeavour. Um, however, I love this so much. I'd seen it on ASOS earlier this year and was really tempted by it. Um, I tried to find reviews to see what the quality of Skinny Dip was like. Um, I can't tell you that it feels like leather because it doesn't, but it's so cool and I love it so much. I'll just show you what it looks like on because that's what sold it to me and it's massive and really, really light. It's going to fit so much stuff in it and for this 
season. I love yellow. I love yellow all the time, but I think this is a beautiful shade of yellow for kind of autumn time. So just I really, really like this. And I don't think that it looks like an inexpensive bag, but I think it was only 30, 35 pounds, which is not bad. Okay, so ignoring, you know, the mess and stuff around me, here is the bag on my shoulder. And then you can change the chain so that you can have it further down on your shoulder or as a crossbody. That is amazing. This is like super versatile like i say really incredibly lightweight and it will fit so much stuff in it so that is it for this high speed haul i hope you enjoyed it it really was kind of like no time to talk about anything let me just show you what i've got um but if you've seen anything within this and you would like a further review either a blog review just some swatches on instagram or you want me to do a day test of anything please let me know um i am aiming for more beauty videos I'm kind of thinking i might do five videos a week We'll see. I've been really enjoying filming recently, so why not kind of while we're on the roll? Uh, so any recommendations, any suggestions, any requests, anything at all, please let me know. And I will leave what I can linked below for you. I'll see you guys next time.